Even under British rule, Hong Kong was really China at one remove. Its history has often reflected events on the mainland. Never more so than 30 years ago, when right on the doorstep of the Western media, Mao's cultural revolution erupted onto the streets of Hong Kong. At that time, leftists they would go around every day and they would march on the streets, you know, uh, not really terrorizing, but they scared everybody. Everybody scared stiff of them. The Hong Kong people weren't used to this type of thing. They would march on Government House up that garden road. They would march on it and they would cover the fences outside with, with uh, derogatory things about the British. They would hang the governor in effigy and burn British flags, things like that. You know, and it was Chinese police. And people were wondering, would the police department hold? You know, and they did. They were ripping off Mao badges and stepping on them, ripping up those little red books. And it seems, for some reason, all of these left, they all had eyeglasses. There were broken eyeglasses all over the street and blood. And they, they were sitting there. And of course, they had bandages already. They were wrapping bandages around their head and looking so full born. You know, it was, pictures were fantastic. Many people left, and a lot of people talked about going somewhere where they would be safer. You didn't? No, it was a good story. I, I didn't want to leave. <laughs>